A lot of you have wondered what it's like to run a rescue, and so today we're gonna show you a little bit of a glimpse into Snake Discovery's Adoption Island by going through a bin full of reptiles that was just dropped off. About 90% of the reptiles that are surrendered to us are completely healthy and they're able to get adopted right after quarantine. However, today's case is a little bit different. We have a bin full of reptiles that are of varying degrees of health. Um, they, it, trust me, we're gonna go through all these together and some are pretty bad cases. But this isn't the most reptiles we've received at once, nor are these the worst or the least healthy animals we've ever received. So this is kind of an average drop off for us today, which is why we figured we'd share this with with you so that you can kind of get an idea of how what rescue is like. All right, so we're gonna go through through these together. We have not taken these animals out. They I mean, were literally just dropped off. That one's super skinny. That one's catching my eye. Yes, that's not a sight you want to see when you take in new animals because that mm -hmm. could mean some bad things. That one's got a skinny tail. Yeah, so we have that some. That one's got a skinny. Is this? Something wrong with these, or what was on their health well, certificate when they were dropped off? As soon as I see leopard geckos with skinny tails like this, I worry that they have, you know, a parasite. Crypto. They have crypto or stick tail. So honestly, seeing this guy, I'm like, oh, I don't know if he's actually gonna make it. That's insanely skinny for a leopard gecko. So let me check their. Obviously, we're not gonna say who dropped all these animals off for confidentiality. Oh, that'll do it. Um, they were busy with life and kept forgetting to feed them. They were fed once every two weeks. Oh, okay. That'll do it. It's just like that leopard gecko yeah. 100 gex that yep. we recently rehabbed. They so, just weren't fed. My guess is he's probably fine, just really, really, really skinny. Yeah, I and doubt it's crypto. I bet he would eat if we threw something in there right now for him. So. Probably. It looks like, so there's some snakes from them that seem to have been taken care of all right. Oh, it looks like there's some fat-tailed geckos in here that were, from what I understand, fed one cricket every two weeks. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we're gonna have some interesting cases here. Let's take a look. All right, so really, yeah. really skinny. Tardis is the one that the- uh, Tardis, yeah, that's a skinny leopard gecko. This one doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's still a super skinny tail, though. This one- Comparatively. Comparatively. Like, that one looks that pretty one, good. That one, surprisingly, not too bad. Here's one of the fat-tailed geckos. I might crack this open. Uh oh, yeah, we've got our deflated. Oh, jeez. I bet that was a wild-caught fat fat tail because a lot of them have that region and they they have a certain look to them when they're the wild yeah, caught ones. So. Just deflated, wow. Yeah, it looks like a raisin. Yeah. Like it should be a plump tail, but it's not. This one is uh, full size, skinny, just you can tell not give, being fed the amount it needs to be yeah, fed. Yeah, a very skinny, skinny tail. tail. You can start to see the sucking in on the, the backside of the rib cage there. But it has a big blocky head. Yeah, so that's this, a big leopard gecko. It is. It should be. Should be. Kind of like 100 gecks that we had yeah. before. Same same case, very similar situation. Oh, Betty's humid, what's Betty? What is this? Oh, oh salamander. tiger salamander. Let me check that one's chart. Hey little salamander. Okay, I guess Betty is two years old? Betty has a very skinny tail. I can kind of see hip bones. We're very short tail too, for two years. You are you're small. oddly small. Yeah, so that one is different. That's interesting. Okay, yeah. more leopard geckos. This one. That's bad. Yeah. So that's oh. in the second the second one you pulled out. Still skinny, but not as skinny as the rest. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, look at Roxy this fat tail. Doesn't, uh, Rory. Oh my gosh. Wow, you can see head definition. Wow, you can see the skull like underneath the skin. Wow. Oh, I mean, we have seen them bounce back being yeah. this bad. It's just so heart wrenching to see them yes. in this case. Okay, well, we've got a skinny fat tail there. I mean, and over here we have some snakes. The snakes all look fine. Actually, yeah, the garters look to be in pretty good shape. We have a couple checkered garter snakes. They look to be a good weight. We have a spider morph ball python, which actually seems to be. A a pretty, little bit of the, uh, the wobble is wobble. to be expected, yep. I guess, with the morph. We see that a lot here in the rescue, but uh, size wise, weight wise, looks pretty good. What it tells me is if you're into snakes, you do can't... your research before you get leopard geckos because yeah. not all reptiles are fed the same amount. Yeah. I think a lot of people get into reptiles going, I can yeah. feed them once a week or twice or once every other week. Right, it kind of seems like that. So we're seeing this like increasingly often, which yeah. is unfortunate. So what we're gonna do is uh, our, our health inspection, which consists of this. We have, sorry, our printer's a little on the fritz right now. So we have some blue speckling to our yeah, uh, health inspection. But yeah, we look at their weight, their posture, hydration, energy level, vent 
eyes, nostrils, all the stuff. We scan them for a microchip just in case. We check them for certain diseases. Uh, so have I'm we, gonna actually- Have we ever scanned you for a microchip? Oh no, have I been microchipped, do you I think? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Where do they put it in humans? I don't know. Bear? The hand? Bear? Yes. Oh wait, that might break the <gasps> They might have stuck it in my oh, nose. Sure. Oh, no, no, we're good. no, okay. I don't have a microchip? Nope. Nope, I think you're good. Okay. Yeah. Yep, no microchip. Good. All right, I am clear of a microchip. <laughs> so we're gonna check all the animals for microchip, just in case, you never know. It's part of our process. And then I guess we will try to offer some of them food and we'll see who takes it. Since we're going to be checking all these animals for a microchip, since that's part of our intake process, we're gonna show you really quickly how this reader works. If you run a rescue, I highly recommend having one. We've never seen a microchip on a surrendered animal before, but you never know. It's good to check them just in case. It's like a stolen animal or something. Something. So basically you just press the button and it's in searching mode and then you scan the entire body of the animal and if it finds one It makes that noise and then you have your microchip number displayed right on the screen I'm gonna cover part of it of course because this is a unique number to this snake for identification purposes But yeah, that's how you check an animal for a microchip and we do it with all of our intakes here I just made it to this poor fat-tailed gecko, Rory, and I don't know what we're gonna weigh, but we are so skinny, so let's see. How much is it? 12 grams. 12 grams yeah. for an adult fat-tailed gecko? Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. We're missing a couple toes, I see. I see a bit of stuck shed on the tips of toes, hip bones, all that, so I'm gonna mark all that down, and I guess I can check for a month. I'm sure we don't have a microchip would be obvious in you. You can nope. see it, yeah, nothing, so. All right, and the health checks continue. Right. Last one. This one weighed 24 grams. What do you think that one's gonna weigh? 12. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. 12. 12. Same weight as the fat-tailed gecko. Wow. Okay, that is that is sad. But yeah. you're spunky. Yeah, it's super spunky do for you, being skinny. Do you want to eat? Do you want a giant mealworm? Is it just a matter of you not being fed? The unfortunate part to leopard geckos and fat-tailed geckos that come in this skinny is oftentimes their kidneys have already shut down. And if that happens, then there's unfortunately no hope in bringing them back no matter what you do. So the good sign that I'm looking, or the sign I'm looking for right now is if we're gonna eat. If we eat, then our kidneys are probably still functional. Oh, we're looking. Please eat it. You can do it, TARDIS. Come on, do you want it on the floor? I'll do whatever you want. Hi, big, beautiful iguana. How are you doing? She's not part of this video. No. What are we <laughs> so doing? Remember all those geckos that were surrendered about two weeks ago? Yes. That really skinny white one? Yep. Or, I mean, we're gonna look at a couple of them today, but first and foremost, that white one that had like a stick tail, well, after two weeks. <gasps> Whoa, oh, her tail's like a tail yeah, now. Yeah, only two weeks and she has been eating so well. So, oh, jeez. Okay, hang on. How much did you weigh again? So she was 12 grams when we first got okay. her about two weeks ago. And now we are 22. Oh my gosh, almost, she almost doubled. doubled her weight in wow, two weeks. Oh, that's crazy. Let's go check on one of the others. All right, next up is Teddy, the leopard gecko who was 16 grams when we first right. got him. Let's see what he is now. Two weeks later, you are 20. 20 grams. Nice. Oh, getting a little bit of an improvement. That's great. All right, who's next? This is Master. Oh, big chunky boy. How did he make it on the list? Well, he was 38 grams when we first got him. Okay, so, and so tail, still small. So tail was skinnier. I just can't remember this one in particular. He is now 56 Jeez. grams. Dude, wow. in two weeks? Yeah, that's insane. You're a chonker. Wow, he's, yeah. he's meant to be a big leopard yes, gecko. Yes, you are. Wow, well, probably Pain just slow. Maybe like two more weeks, and he should be a pretty oh, yeah. good weight. I think he could probably go home now. He probably could. Do, but... He's just a little bit on the lighter side. But yeah. you know, with that improvement in this tail now, if we find the right home for him, we might adopt him out now. I'd also be interested to see how big he'll actually get. Yeah, same here. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a couple more fat tails, and, or a couple more leopard geckos, and a couple fat tails. Yep. This is River, a female. She was 28 grams. She so so not too bad actually. But let's just see what you are now. 
Whoa, 40 grams! Jeez, big chunky girl, wow, too. You have so much energy. She is definitely good to go now, yes. actually. Look at that tail. Look at her. That is ideal without being under or overweight, so that's a good she is ready to go three to her home. on the body condition scale. Right in the middle is what we're looking for. So, River is approved for adoption. All right, well, while Emily puts River away, I have Dr. Who here, who was 24 grams when he came to us. He is now 32. All right. Okay, next up is Batman. And she was 22 grams when we first got her, so she okay. was the current weight of that white leopard gecko. Yes. Like, that's how skinny that leopard gecko yes. was. Anyway, so she was 22 grams. She had that deflated-looking regrown mm. tail. She was the better of the two African fat tails. Yes, the worst of the two is coming up next. So still alive. Yes, yes. And 32. All right, 10 grams. Nice. And the last gecko for today's update anyway, which I think, I think that's all of them. Hopefully I'm not missing any. The salamander's also doing great, by the way. The snakes were fine. They were good weights. Uh, I think we're going to keep the garter snakes, actually. Anyway, this is Rory, the fat-tailed gecko, who was also 12 grams when she first came in. And look at her now. She actually kind of looks like a skinny fat tail now. Yeah, so same weight as that white leopard gecko. This one and that one, the white one, were the ones I was personally worried about the most. Yeah. But we're getting some actual weight and fatness to their tail. I can definitely still see hip bones and the yep. spine protrudes a little bit, but the real test is how much do we weigh? We were 12 grams and now we are 20, 20. grams. Wow. All right, eight gram growth. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. I think she's going to make it. He, uh, she. She, yep. I think she's going to make it. I think so too. This so. video is not about you. Sorry, you're awesome. Stop. You're overweight as it is. <laughs> Can you give some of your weight to these geckos? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we are going to continue feeding, continue caring for, and just let them take care of the rest. So we'll check back in in a couple weeks. All right, update day. I'm taking the two skinniest ones and just doing a d an update on them. And then I think next round, we're going to update everybody's weights again. However, the second fat tail was doing so well. Its weight was great that that one actually already got adopted out. And I think one of the leopard geckos already got adopted out too, because, you know, they weren't as worse for wear. But let's see, we have Tardis, who was 12 grams and 516. So like two weeks ago was 22 grams. Tardis! I know, you were so skinny. Come here. Oh, I have to turn on the... You are so wiggly too. Nope, nope, nope. Come here. All right, zeroed out. Here you go. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. You are now... Whoa, 28 grams. Nice job, buddy. All right, we will continue your treatment. And then you, little fat tail gecko. Let's see, your name, that's right, Rory. You were 12 grams and then 20 grams. So hoping for like 26... You look so much better with that tail. You are 22 grams. Okay, so we've gained two more grams. I guess it's only been like two weeks. They had that initial surge of uh, nutrients and weight, and now it's kind of a, it's kind of gradually balanced out a bit, and now we're having a slower incline. But that's okay. We're still seeing improvement. And by the way, these enclosures are not appropriate sized enclosures for them long term. So don't think that you can adopt one and keep it in this bin. We just keep them in these smaller bins so that they're closer to their prey, so it's easier for them to find their food and therefore eat. And it's working, yes it is. All right, we'll write down their weights for today and then keep on going with their rehab. All right, it has been yet a couple more weeks and we are going to do our final check-in on a lot of these geckos. Yeah, look at these guys, look how chat fat he is. Yeah, they're doing so well. A few of these we haven't updated you in in a while because we were so focused on the fat-tailed gecko and Tardis the leopard gecko here which look at his tail oh my gosh he is still kind of can be. squirmy but look at that tail he looks so good now we're gonna weigh him last and first we are going to just update you on a few of the other animals that you haven't seen in a while here's the salamander she is doing so well she eats everything by hand Aww. so we are going to keep her as an ambassador animal you're gonna become an ambassador animal yeah. for snake discovery Do you here, let's pass the test. Oh, oh. yep, we passed the test to yep. eat in front of a crowd. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, she is officially a snake discovery oh. ambassador. Oh, yeah. you don't like it? Blah, blah. She's it's like, too, it's too dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I can understand. We'll give you a worm later, girl. <laughs> but yeah, let's weigh some of these other geckos. This will be the final weigh-in because they look amazing. I just want to record one more weight for them before they find their new homes. Okay, so first we are going to weigh in Master, the leopard gecko, who came to us at 38 grams. And then, that was back in April. It's now July. And he is, his last weigh-in was May 16th at 56 grams. So it's been two months. Oh, he's chunky. 
How much is he now? 62. 62. Wow. All right. You're a big boy. All right. I'd say he's officially available for adoption. Yes, he is. All right. Next up is uh, Teddy. We're going to weigh Teddy, Aww. the leopard gecko. Come here, cutie. All right. This one. Let's see. Are you a male or a female? It's, you're not sexed on our card. I'm thinking female. I don't see the chevron of pores. Yep, I think that's a female. Yeah. Okay. So she was... Oh, my gosh. That's right. I mean, she's a little bit younger, but on, on intake, she was 16 grams. Yep. Mid-May, she was 20 grams. I'm going to guess she's... 24. Oh, I was going to say 25. Okay, she is well, 28. 28. Ah, right. Good job, girl. She is also officially yeah. ready for adoption. You're ready to go. All right. Good to go on her card and add that she is a female. Perfect. All right. And last but not least, here is Tardis. Oh, the crazy. Oh my gosh. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. It's okay. Tardis came in at 12 grams. A month later, a couple weeks later, 22. Then he was 28. And June 18th, he was 30 grams. This is All our right. final weigh in. Uh, this is a little over a month later. Final weigh in. He is. 28 grams. Oh, interesting. So, he went down two grams. Yeah. But you know what? He looks so good that, you know, he must have just eaten a lot of food, I'm assuming, when he was weighed in there. Yeah. He is a good, healthy weight. So he's yes. going to stay right around 28 to 30 grams, it looks like, for a little while until he grows Depends to... Depends on if he had to poop or if he ate too much. He you may know? have just pooped. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> But yeah, he is doing really well, and yeah, final weigh-in, he is approved for adoption because he is maintaining a healthy weight, yes. and he yeah. is eating with gusto. So our next update is actually going to be coming from the Schaumburg NARBC. This weekend, we are going to be bringing the last three geckos. Oh, oh he is not <laughs> happy. He's not happy with the world right now. Calm down. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> We're going to bring all three of these leopard geckos to the show and hopefully find them their new forever homes. All right, we are here at the Schaumburg show, and and Teddy, the leopard gecko, is the first of those three leopard geckos to get adopted today by Caitlin. Yes. Caitlin, thank you so much for adopting yeah, Teddy. Of what made you pick him? He's just super cute. I like his coloration, so. He's pretty chill, too, actually. Yeah, I was gonna say, once I held him, it was like fine. As long as he's not like super squirmy and he just kind of sat there, so. Yeah, well, just wait until his video, this, this video comes out, you'll get to see how skinny he was when okay. he first came in. Like, he's come a long way. So, thank you for being his final stop uh, and his forever home. <laughs> this is Master, the second leopard gecko to get adopted at the Schomburg show, and he is going home with Moises and Camilla. Is this your first reptile? This is my second. second? I, have, I have another one. Another leopard gecko? Another leopard gecko, oh, yeah. So, just wait till the video comes. You're going to see how skinny he was when he first came in. Wow. But thank you for adopting him. He's been with us for about, what would you say, four months? Four months ish, yeah. Yeah, he's been with us a long time because of how rough shape he was in, but he's super healthy now, and I, I hope you're gonna have fun with him. Yeah. And the last leopard gecko, Tardis, is just getting adopted right now at the Schomburg Show, and he is going home with a fellow Emily, who is dressed up for our superhero meet and greet theme. You even have the pin on. You even got the pin. Yeah, I love that you're just playing it so proudly. Are you also adopting a corn snake? That's awesome. Please. Well, this guy, I did. Did you already fill him in? A little bit. Okay, so he was. He's a little, little wiggly, but he'll calm down. And it sounds like you guys are ready for him. But he was so skinny when we first got him. I honestly didn't think he was gonna live. But he ate and he, you know, perked back up, and now he's healthy again. So thank you so much for adopting him. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching today's abandoned gecko rescue video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the progress they all made and going home. And in this case with a fellow Emily. I love it. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. Thank you Patreon backers because you allow us to rescue animals and rehab them like TARDIS here. So thank you so much Patreon backers as well and we'll see you next time.